Hey everybody, how's it going? So I am riding my way home on 7th Avenue. I'm around Perry Street. There's a restaurant here that I always pass. Now, I understand that due to coronavirus that people are not eating as much indoors and there's restrictions regarding eating indoors. Like that's something that I, I, I understand. I have not gone to an indoor restaurant anywhere in New York City and sat down and eaten in pretty much since COVID started. I also, now I get that people would be afraid of it. I also understand the other flip side of it when people say, listen, we got to get back to living our lives. Uh, you know, if people get it, they get it. Maybe just the young should go up, blah, blah, blah. I, but what I don't understand is what we have here, which is where you have two uh, of pretty much the worst case scenario. So allow me to demonstrate. So this is a restaurant that apparently cannot have full seating inside because of COVID and social distancing. So they see people outside. However, it is cold and also drizzling. So what they've done is they've built this tent thingy full of something that I'm pretty sure doesn't block COVID over here. And this is like, I just find this absolutely hysterical. I don't know how well you can see this due to the, um, due to the bad lighting, but that is a restaurant that they have created. They've created an indoors outdoors. So there's just enough space for the server to walk by. Now, and so they have a ceiling. They have a ceiling. They have walls. And they have a door, but it's outside rather than inside, so I guess there's no... Like, I'm... I, again, I'm not a scientist. I am not a scientist. And I am the first to say that I don't understand what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to um, epidemiology or anything related to how pandemics spread. But, like, what the fuck are we doing? I mean, have the, have the restaurant open... Have them not open, have them do outdoor seating, have them not do out, have them not do outdoor dining. Why do we have these regulations where you can only have the seating outdoors, but then create, oh, well, it may rain or get cold, so let's create a structure with ceilings and walls, but do it outside. Because, like, to me, and again, this could just be me being an idiot, once you have created an walls ceiling and a floor this is effectually no longer outdoors this to me is indoors because again there is a wall there is a floor there is a ceiling i cannot get through it it is again i'm not going to say it's airtight but i'm not but like i'm pretty sure the covid is staying in there if the covid is getting coughed in there and like none of this seems to make any sense to me and it just seems to be this thing where you need to feel like you're doing something but you don't want people to revolt, so you come up with these half measures that kind of piss everybody off while simultaneously ensuring that COVID keeps spreading, which is like genuinely the worst of both worlds. And I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, if you are a proponent of not having restaurants be open, I get you. And if you're saying, listen, you can't close everything, the best we can do is protect the elderly and uh, the um, and the vulnerable and let other people go out to restaurants. I can understand where you're coming from. But I don't understand this worst of both worlds thing that we have going on here. Again, like there's another one across the street over there, right across the street. There's another one of these things where they've got, they have a wall, they have a floor, they have a ceiling, but it's outdoor dining, so there's no COVID there. What the? Fuck! Anyway, that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.